Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a full moon reading. So this is for the 19th, but from now, because the full moon is like coming in like right now, okay? So from now, right through the 19th, you know, to the 20th, whatever, this is your full moon reading. This may or may not resonate with you, okay? It may or may not. Let's see what comes up. I'm going to use this, three of them, for an overall energy. Then we're going to use this. These are both by uh, Ciro Mar Marchetti. I say Ciro. I know another person says Ciro. <laughs> I, I don't, it, you know, it is what it is. Whatever comes out, comes out. You know, I say it's Ciro. I don't know. But you got, you got the gist of it, right? So... It's kind of like Arcana and Arcana, or Uranus and Uranus. I mean, come on now. I don't need anybody's petty bullshit, so if I said it wrong, oh well. Here we go. Anyhow, um, <laughs> this is for the full moon. Three cards. It's like tarot and tarot. I hear that a lot, too. Idea. Idea. I get I get pinged for that if I say idea. Because, you know, so I'm from the East Coast. Idea. That's how I say it. If you don't like it, tough shit. You can see what kind of mood I'm in. Anyhow. <laughs> you stop picking on people for not being like you. Nobody is perfect. <laughs> well, the very first card of yesterday. This happens a lot. I can't wait to see what the second card is. Your intuition is spot on. Spot on. You know what's going on. <laughs> I hate to repeat myself. I mean, I just did. Th I just did this. Somebody has been using silence as their tool. You know, they've been using it to get the guidance that they needed. Somebody has received a message. And this message is from a higher power. And it's something you can't ignore. Card number two. Expect the unexpected, okay? Expect the unexpected. I'm not going to take this because there's obviously more cards here. There's a few. I'm not even going to look at them because we got we have a whole reading to do here. But this is somebody that has, has absolutely been going within. Somebody has received a message. They become consciously aware. That is no joke. Of what their what their future could be. Somebody has been enlightened through silence, through solitude, through introspection and reflection. It's like somebody's gone through an awakening, a serious awakening, and that, that is no joke. The time out, somebody's taking a time out, and this time out has served them very, very well. It has. It's given them the information that they need. Judgment Day. 
wake up call, like an awakening. This is the card of awakening. It absolutely is. It's a card of absolution. It's a card of releasing the past. It's also a card of truth. You know, you think about Judgment Day. You know, I'm not going to go over it. We talk about Judgment Day a lot. You all know what it is. It's when the truth comes out, whether you like it or not. So, it is Judgment Day. This is a wake-up call. It is a wake-up call. This card can also mean that somebody from the other side is giving you guidance. Somebody that has passed away. They may be helping you. They may be guiding you. They may be giving you the message. And I got the goosebumps as I said that. Through both of my arms, just like a shoo, chills right down my arms. So somebody is receiving guidance from somebody on the other side. Somebody on the other side might be saying, it's time to release, it's time to release, it's time to release. This is a card of release, it truly is. It's time to release. This is a card of karma. It's time to release the karmic contract that you've been in. Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Somebody's had an awakening, a spiritual awakening, okay? And I think this, look at the souls, okay? Those are souls. I feel like somebody has been guided from a person or people. Could be a soul, family, I don't know. Somebody is being guided to listen to their intuition, to release... It's time. It's time for wish fulfillment. It is. It's time for your renewal. It's time to bring peace back to your life. This is a card of wish fulfillment. It's a, it's a heaven too. This is heaven sent. I'm telling you what. Somebody is receiving messages from above that it is time to be happy. It's time for peace. It's time for wish fulfillment. It's time for you to heal. It's, it's time for you to follow your dreams. It's time to get everything that you wished for. This is a blessing. It's a major blessing. It's like the universe is giving you an opportunity for wish fulfillment and peace. They're giving you the opportunity to release. They're giving you the opportunity to forgive the past. They're, they're, tell, they're asking you to follow your intuition. There's, it, there's an opportunity to renew at this time. It's time to bring balance and harmony back to your life. But it's your choice, right? It is the choice is yours. They can they can try to help you as as you know as much as they can, but if you're not listening then hey, you're going to be stuck in your own karma. This is karma. This is karma, okay? Karma doesn't lose your address ever. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment, in, and this is Saturn's finger, by the way. You can look it up. But anyhow, um, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you can, you know, do the right thing. What do you need to do? We talked about this yesterday to bring balance and harmony. That's what this full moon is about. This is Libra. It's at the bottom of the deck. The overall energy of this full moon is releasing a karmic debt. Oh, 
What are you going to do? It's your choice. It's your choice. You got to be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Where does your wish fulfillment lie? What, what do you want? What do you want? You want to be coddled? You want to be lied to? You want to live in lack? You want to be unhappy? Or do you want peace? Do you want wish fulfillment? Do you want absolution? Do you want the truth? You gotta think about karma. Okay, this is karma, this is karma. You get what you deserve. This can go either way. Okay, I can. If you don't act with integrity, don't expect people to treat you with integrity. You reap what you sow. We have a choice at this point, right now. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you can do the right thing. Whatever your intuition is telling you to do, that's the right thing. It all boils down to integrity and your own wish fulfillment. Nobody else's. Don't let other people's judgment hold you back. That's their own karma. Anyhow, somebody has to make a decision in regards to their own truth, where their wish fulfillment lies. There's an opportunity to bring peace back to your life, real peace. It's a time of inspiration. It really is. It's like the universe is trying to give you a blessing. But you have to release. The blessing comes after you release. This is a card of release. And I know all those people out there are like, Oh, I can't release my twin flame. Oh my God. That makes me sick. It's false. It's fake. And that's the truth. Twin Flames became an industry. One broken heart was trying to justify what happened. Trying to fix their pain. The next broken heart fed on. And it, you know, we all got broken hearts. Then it turned into something bigger. Oh, we, this is a special kind of love. Only certain people get to have it. Bull shit. Go to your nursing homes. Ten of them. Twin Flames is a new age thing. It's not real. Your soul is whole. We have soul circles. We have soul mates. Don't let an industry keep you stuck. It's become a huge money-making industry, keeping people are dying alone, waiting for people that don't love them because of one person's broken heart.
We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. We do. Don't let an industry stop you from happiness and wish fulfillment. I understand that when you're grieving a loss, you can get caught up with anything. Trust me. I've grieved. It's time to be realistic. If a person is not communicating with you, if they haven't been communicating with you, if they show no interest in you, it's time for you to do the right thing for you. Don't let society, the industry, that is making money off of your pain, hold you back. If you go to a nursing home and you talk to those elders, Twin Flames is, is unknown. It's not real. And I don't care who likes me. You want to get caught up in that drama and waste your life waiting for somebody who isn't meant to be. You're not being real. We all have the opportunity to experience that great love. Nobody is immune. Not one person is immune. And just because you got that loving connection or you had that loving connection with one person doesn't mean that the rest of us don't get to experience it or haven't experienced the same feeling. I'm special. Yeah, we're all special. We're equal. Some people think that. Oh, I'm on the twin flame journey. What, you're fucking special? We're all on the journey to love. And that's what the journey is. <clears throat> You're looking for somebody to fulfill your pipe dreams? There's lots of readers selling it to you. I'm not one of them. I'm not here for the money. You know, so I just cleared my throat because that was difficult communication. It was hard for me to say. That was a message from above. Stop holding on to karma. Lies. It's time to accept the truth. Get real. It's fantasy. It is a fantasy. It is a fantasy. <laughs> the Emperor. Oh, God. I can't take it. This is ridiculous right here. This is, this is, a, this is ridiculous right here. This is, uh, you know, the Emperor. This is a father. <laughs> this is a father. This is a very prominent man. This is this is heartache. This is painful. Three of Swords. I mean, this is painful. Um, we this is a man that is is very dominant, um, protective. This is painful. Four of Swords. What's that look like? This is the death of an idea. Letting go of the idea. 
this is the end. This is the end of a stable, solid relationship. <laughs> oh, God. A painful end. Somebody's taking control. This is this guy takes control. He makes a decision and he's wise and he's practical. He's structured. He don't feed into that stupid bullshit. He don't. This guy is a wise man. So we have a wise man that may be decide he's deciding something. He's deciding something, and it has to do with ending a... This is an ending. Tens are completions. This is the death of an idea. It really is. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security, haven't they? That would be your twin flame bullshit. False sense of security. Avoiding. Avoiding what it is. Avoiding the... The fact that it's false, okay? It's it's a not a solid structure. It's it's unstable. It's not really built well. It's avoiding letting it go. Holding on to that structure that isn't even real, okay? It's not well, it's real, but it's not stable, it's not solid. It's old. It has gotten old, hasn't it? Why? Why? Because because it's justification. That's what it is. It's justifying, you know, what happened. This is the end. This is the end of a, of a relationship. It is. And you guys can all try to pretend. And I'm done pretending. You, I ain't pretending nothing. That this is a new beginning? Yeah. After an ending. Tens are completions. After this is done, yes, there will be a new beginning. But something is coming to completion first. And it's probably going to be painful. And you guys cannot, they don't have to want to hear it. I, you know, I really don't care. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to feed you a line of bullshit to get your money. To keep you trapped. <laughs> you know, you know. And this is, the high priestess is, is... Somebody giving you a message. The high priestess is a, is a tarot reader. The high priestess is a healer. The high priestess is a spiritual counselor. Giving you a painful message. Right now. You have somebody that's better suited for you. Good news is coming. After this completion. New love. Love is coming. A partnership, a union. But it's after the death. It's after the death of something. Okay, this is the death of an idea. So once you let go of that fantasy, you have an opportunity for new love with somebody. And you, you don't have to like me. I don't care. You have to let go. You have to release. I can't make this shit up. It's right underneath each other. The false sense of security that you are holding on to. Somebody is holding on to a partner or a situation that is no more. Stop. Stop.
This is breaking free. This is letting it go. Giving up. Give up on the false sense of security, please. So that you can rebuild a foundation with the, the potential partner that is better suited for you. Because there's a new suitor here that is better suited for you. It's time to get real. You know that it is. You know that it's time. There's an opportunity for a new, a new, stable, solid, happy relationship here. But I have to tell you, it's not with the false sense of security that you've been holding on to. Let go of the fantasy. Let go of the facade because there's a bigger, better opportunity waiting for you. Don't let somebody else's broken heart lead you down the wrong path. Wake up. I know that it's turned into a much bigger thing, you know, and it's more than just that. Oh, trust me. Yeah, they've made it into more to keep people stuck. I'm in a happy twin flame union. Well, when I'm with my partner, I'm in a happy twin flame union too. Wake up, please. There's a new suitor here. Somebody that is better suited for you or a situation that is better suited for you. Whether it's a part, it could be any partnership. I'm focusing on love. It could be anything. There's a new partnership here that is better served, suited for you that will bring you something solid and stable and it will bring you happiness, but it's after a completion of a dead end, false sense of security that needs to be released. So let go of your fucking fantasy, please. Somebody is making a decision to let go. I hope it's you. Good luck.